All right, man. This one's cut. Yo, when they got it in the title, it's it's wicked for them. They're doing it to be wicked. Whatever they're doing with their numbers, whatever magic. But this is fully wicked against them. Like, God really punishes them when they do this. Okay? In this story, Uzi Vert is stepping up talking about how, hey, chill with calling me out on the Satan uh, lyrics. He's trying to tell you what to do when he's blatantly praising Satan. He's trying to tell you how to do it, but this is what the devil does. You got to ignore it. You got to power through. Listen to me. Focus on what I'm trying to tell you. This guy literally got up and told you he knows his lyrics are satanic. Chill. Chill on talking about it. Not chill on the lyrics. Yo, listen what God responds, sir. He hits you at your heart piece. This is more direct to any. Did you even know that Uzi, Uz, Uzziah was a king? Do you know that? In Israel, he says, whatever he's saying for his name created, I doubt it. These guys make names to mock God. I'm telling you, it's not random. His name's Uzi. Uzziah was a, a king in Israel, a ruler that God loved. And he's doing nothing that God loves right now at all. Matthew chapter 12, verse 26. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? I talked to you all about that. When they're doing work that is evil, Satan is with them. They're doing it in his name. Mark chapter 3, verse 23. And he called them unto him and said unto them in parables, how can Satan cast out Satan? Period. Job chapter 1, verse 12. And the Lord said unto Satan, behold, all that he hath is in thy power. Only upon himself put not forth thine hand. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. He, he couldn't even be around him. He can't even hang around with the Lord. He can't even linger when the Lord is with you. The Lord rocks him. Zechariah chapter three, verse two. The Lord said unto Satan, the Lord rebuked thee, O Satan. Even the Lord that hath chosen Jerusalem rebuked thee. Is not this a brand plucked out of the fire? Woo. He said, did we not to handle you enough? You want more? He's asking you want more fire. And obviously he's going to flee because he's a coward. Revelation chapter two, verse 13. I know thy works and where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seat is. And thou holdest fast my name and has not denied my faith. Even in those days where Antipas was my faithful martyr who was slain among you where Satan dwelleth. He knows who Satan has taken out. He knows all your evil works. He knows your evil works and Satan's works. And when he tried to entice you, and if you followed him, and if you denied him. Job chapter 1, verse 7. And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence the, comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. Right there. Satan is the influence of evil all over the earth. Right there. He's going to and fro, trying to get people to do evil because he's not omnipresent. Job chapter two, verse two. And the Lord said unto Satan, from whence comest thou? And Satan answered again in a different book, going to and fro on the earth, walking up and down it. Satan right there exists and he's all over. That was a second book saying the same thing. First Timothy chapter five, verse 15. For some are already turned aside after Satan. That is a lot of the earth. A lot of you already are following after him and already doing his works, especially rappers. 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 14. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Right there. He looks grandiose. Uzi Vert looks like a great rapper. You love his music. He's really casting spells on you. That's what you don't realize. It's not what you think. It's casting spells. Music, that's how they do battle in the spiritual realm. Luke chapter 10, verse 18. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Right there. He like lightning fell from heaven. That's how hard God threw him down. Made him look like lightning. <laughs> that's yo, that's how savage God is. Keep playing. Second Corinthians chapter two, verse 11. Lest Satan should get advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices. No, we are not. When evil's going on around you, it's Satan. It is not God. You guys get angry at God. Blame God. It's not God. It's Satan right there. Job chapter two, verse six. And the Lord said in, unto Satan, behold, he is in thine hand, but save his life. 
There we go. I want to read that to you. And the Lord said unto Satan, has thou considered my servant Job that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and an upright man, one that feareth God and escheweth evil. He pushes evil off. He's, he doesn't like evil. And still he holdeth fast, fast his integrity, although thou movest me against him to destroy him without cause. And Satan answered the Lord and said, skin for skin, yea, all that a man hath will he give him for his life. But put forth thine hand now and touch his bone and flesh, and he will curse thee to my face. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, he is in thine hand, but save his life. Right there, God allows, Satan got to beg to do things to you. And he does. He says, Lord, can I do this? Can I do that? Can I? He looks at your life and looks at what you're doing. And he decides, hey, have you tried this servant? He wants to push him towards servants that trust in him to save you who do not. He literally copes for things and says you can't do nothing. Even when you're sinning, not asking repentance, he tries to push Satan away from you and push him towards his servants because we know how to do battle with Satan. We know how to battle you. We know how to handle you. They don't. That's what I'm trying to teach y'all. You got to know what you're fighting. You're fighting higher principalities. Your human mind can't do it. You need God. Right there, right there, 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 and there. Up here, come on. People don't want me to tell you the truth. That's why they're complaining. So went Satan forth from the presence of the Lord and smote Job with sore boils from the sole of his foot unto his crown. And he took him to a posture to scrape himself withal. And he sat down among the ashes. Then said his wife unto him, Doest thou still retain thine integrity? Curse God and die. That's what his wife was saying. Because she was like, look at what God's allowing. But don't you understand how the story ends? Well, he survived that and he stuck with God. He gave him triple what he, yo, it, what if you just had triple what you have right now? Overnight. That's what he gave the Job. He gave him triple. If he had a million, he had three million. If he had, if he had 10 horses, now he got 30 horses. He gave him triple everything. You don't get it. God rewards you so much greater when you stick with him and fight against Satan. You guys go for, oh, I'm going to sell my soul and go to Satan and you lose everything and blame God. No, choose your God. You can't serve two masters, one or the other right here. That's what I was saying to them. These guys don't listen, man. They don't listen. We're not done. He really, yo, he really destroyed this guy. Remember, he said, chill a little bit, okay? Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 22 and the Lord thy God will put out those nations before thee by little and little thou mayest not consume them at once lest the beast of the field increase upon thee right there that yo that's you dog that's you oh this yo he yo okay Luke chapter 7 verse 47 wherefore I say unto thee her sins which are many are forgiven for she loved much, but to whom little is forgiven, the same loveth little. How much love you got in your heart? How much love you got in your heart? But for your money and whatever tricks you around with. John chapter 13, verse 33. Little children, yet a little while I am with you, ye shall seek me. And as I said unto the Jews, whither I go, ye cannot come. So now I say to you, you got to trust in him by faith. And if you want to be where he's at, because he's in a place that's safe and comfortable, where you all want to be having peace. Exodus chapter 23, verse 30. By little and little, I will drive them out from thee before thee until thou be increased and inherit the land. He wants to give us the land against this evil and get rid of Satan. But you got to be with him or he can't do nothing. Oh, man. James chapter three. This is you. This is Uzi Vert. James chapter 3, verse 5. Even so, the tongue is a little member and boasteth great things. Behold, how great a matter a little fire kindleth. Yo. Now, we haven't seen this guy getting a beef, but it's coming because he uses his tongue to uh, cast spells on the public. And that's no allegedly. That's what he does with his music. It's casting a spell because of what he's rapping about. Because it's wicked. And he's repeating the same thing. I just want to rock. Rock. I just want to rock. He try, he's literally talking to your spirit. That's what you guys don't get. 
You let these kids listen to music and then they act weird and you wonder why. It's because they got a spell cast on them. Proverbs chapter 6 verse 10. Yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. You need something to get you to sleep. You guys are doing such wicked things. You need to look for something to try to help you sleep at night. Because at the end of the day, you know your little member, that little member in your mouth, has quoted and said things that you'll be held accountable for. Even if you don't, you know it at the spiritual level. Your soul knows. So you're in peril. You may seem like all is good spending money. He just got a diamond, a big, rich diamond in his head, getting it take out, putting it in, putting it out. Because he got too much money, he don't know where to look to. He's not being led by Christ. John chapter 16, verse 16. A little while, and ye shall not see me. And again, a little while, and ye shall see me, because I go to the Father. Christ is coming back when he gets back. Is Uzi Vert going with him? Did Uzi Vert do the work of God? Right now, is he going to repent and change his life? Right now. Or is he going to look at his money and say, I'm good? Or look at this video and say, look at this fool. Instead of looking at himself as the fool who doesn't know Christ. He doesn't think he's a fool at all. He's like, I'm so smart. I got so much money. I'm so beautiful. I'm so being very feminine. Remember, he switched in between feminine and things. That's satanic. So he's talking in this article saying, chill with the Satan stuff. Who? Who? What? What? You feel some type of way because someone called you out. So you got to make an announcement. Why would you even want to be affiliated with him? But you're not fighting that part. You're like, chill with it. Chill a little. Uh, just a little bit. He, yo, just a little bit. You're okay to have some, but just a little bit. Chill with it. God wants it all or nothing. You turn to him. You cannot serve two masters. You say a little bit because you want to serve Satan and then come to God. No, it's not going to work, sir. It's not going to work. It's not going to work for you. Isaiah chapter 6 verse 1. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon the throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. His training filled the temple. You're using Satan's training, sir. Your music, your image, your bragging, your boasting. You're doing Satan's work. What do you expect? People are going to see it, even if they don't know it. They called you out in a song saying you had satanic lyrics because they're waking up the your fans are waking up you just laughed on stage and said you guys laughing at me but you're all going to go to hell with me remember that no they're not you're going that trip alone you're going to do a solo trip because you spent the money you stunted out the stuff you had the jewels you took advantage of the riches you're going to take that trip alone and when you go to hell you're alone it's enormous and you are alone getting tortured with no one in sight. All of you. Whoever goes. Uzi you going to be alone getting tortured. You could bring 100 people with you. You ain't going to see not one of them. Not one of them. You're going to be getting tortured in hell. Not one of them is ever going to see you. And no one knows you there. So they're going to be rocking you. They don't care. Don't be tricked. Man yo. These guys got to wake up. You guys got to wake up man. For real. It's such a dangerous thing. It's so dangerous to be in that career. Not even because of being an artist. Because when you die, you know where you go. So that's crazy. That's the craziest part. They think they're going to be okay. God's going to accept them in. Oh, you fooled a million kids. Never talked about me. Come into heaven. No. You're going the opposite place. And you want those kids to go with you. Why? Why are you trying to get these kids to go to hell with you? What do you gain? What does it gain you to, to laugh and say you're all going to hell with me? You blatantly said that in English. I didn't have to even decipher that. You did that. I didn't even have to read the second part. You already said this verbally. Verbally on stage. In a video. You kidding me? Everybody saw it. Yo, this is crazy. You literally are doing Satan's work for nothing. For free. Thinking that this money on earth is your gift. But God gives you gifts and you could have got this money for free with Christ. But you wanted to do the fast way with God, with the devil, with the fake God, false gods. We read that this morning. Yeah. Well, last night. But that's my thing, yo. 
Do not be fooled. Do not follow in these guys' footsteps. He's on a train to hell, and he's smiling and laughing on the way there. He probably doesn't don't even realize it. Oh, I don't believe. It's real, sir. I don't believe till you leave this earth, you open your eyes again. When you're getting tortured, you'll believe. Turn. Repent. All rights reserved.